If your joy, your substance is from the Lord, in the Lord, and you declare that in your life, then you know you don't have nothing to worry about. Because the joy that you believe in will sustain, he will keep, he will devour, he will fight, he will defend, he will protect you because you believe in him. The greater I am is in you, is in me, is in she. And the There's a saying that says, those that wait on the Lord is renewed in strength. And I pray that word Build up somebody in the season, today, this day, this morning, this hour. I pray whatever strength you're looking for, that the spirits of God will find and invest in you, embed in you, and bring you up out of every merrily clay. I pray that the spirits of God will turn your life around and show you that you are worthy, you are capable, you are able. When you're waiting, what do you do in the windows of your waiting time? Do you get envious? Do you grieve your spirit? Do you worship? Do you pray? Do you glorify God? Do you have a communication? Are you constant? Are you unwavering in your faith? Because those that wait on the Lord shall be renewed. So what are you doing in your waiting period? What are you doing? Are you exalting God? Because that is what you should be doing in your That is who you are. Way make miracle work. Promise keep. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Let me tell you the biggest lie of the enemy. The biggest lie is this homosexual thing that's going on right now. Woman to woman, the man to man, the babes on the babes. That is a lie in the plot. Man to man is so unjust, and it is. That is a sin. And it's a lie from the devil when you hear them and say, woman is okay to be with woman and man is alright to be. No, no. That's not the systematic plan of God. That's not the, that's not the blueprint of God. The blueprint of man is man with woman. That's how his reproduction system will go on. That's how the spirit of God will continue. When there's no more reproduction, then what? Everybody wants pro-choice. It's my choice. It's my life. No, it's not. You have a purpose and you were created with a purpose not to sow it into a woman and not to sow it into another man if you are a man, but to sow and to reap, to keep his systematic plan going, to keep his plans going, to keep his endeavors going, to keep his will going, to keep his way going. When you sow good seed, when you're doing good things, when you're living according, even though we're not perfect and God knows that. But having some type of structure of righteousness, that's what he likes and that's what he loves. He will work with you. You know what I'm saying? He will build you up. He called the foolish things of this world and conceived them into the wise. You know what I'm saying? So we're no, even though we're not worthy sometimes. Live good, live in joy. Not every day is going to be a blooming day, but do the best that you can. Be encouraged, encourage yourself because you know in these last days nobody know they have to encourage you like that. It's rare. And when you do have good people in your life, make them know say you appreciate them. When you have good people in your surroundings and your space, let them know that they are worthy.